What's up, guys? So I just got a new toy for the Caprice PPV. So what I have here is a Holden IQ smart box, which just uh, I just finished installing. So let me give you a little preview here. We'll uh, go ahead and insert our fancy little Holden key here. You can see we've got the Holden splash screen. And we have AM FM tuner. And the first thing you'll notice is it's a red background, which I had custom programmed. And with that, you might also notice the Bluetooth is enabled. Sorry, I think the lens is a little dirty. There we go. So there's Bluetooth at the top. Now if we go into media, you can see here that we've got more options. We've got CD, USB, iPod, audio, stored CDs, and there's even more. I'll we'll, we'll go through those in a minute. So I'm going to hit the source button on the steering wheel, which all the steering wheel controls still work. So here is our front auxiliary in, rear seat entertainment, which I have not hooked anything up to yet. And there's our AM, FM, iPod. And the cool thing is you can see it still shows you on the instrument cluster here what's going on. We're on an iPod source. I'm going to switch it. Oops. Let me get out of that. All right. So changes the track. And you can also browse, go by playlist, however you want to do it. I mean, all the options are pretty much there. Now, we also have Bluetooth audio. So I haven't really synced my uh, phone for audio yet, but you could go to config, you could go to Bluetooth, and what's up with the paired devices? So. I'm going to connect to my phone. I'm not sure about it. It's not working. Maybe I have to turn my phone Bluetooth on. Okay, so the phone Bluetooth is on. Alright. This also gives you the options for the camera. Now, I haven't Put the camera in the car yet I did test it it does work but if I put the foot on the brake and go to reverse it automatically pulls up the image that's through the CAN bus in the uh, car so once I plug the camera in wire it up install it in the back of the car you'll see a uh, backup image and again as I turn the it doesn't look like it works with the steering wheel but still pretty cool uh, for radio, we've got our sensitivity, radio text, alternate frequency, there's our audio controls system, which is all pretty much the same as it was before. So there's our, here's our phone, if we want to call somebody. Um, I did not add any external microphones, uh, everything was already in the car. And it does work. I did a test call earlier. But you can pretty much call anybody you want. 8675309. Oh, Wait a minute. Damn you, Tommy Two Tone. Alright. So the map doesn't work yet. Um, I do not have a SD card inserted in the navigation. Uh, I will be working on that. Hopefully, I'll be able to crack that and get that going shortly. But this whole radio is pretty much. A whole new ball game and I'm absolutely in love with the way everything works so CD player works uh, USB I currently have my kids iPad plugged into it so it's under iPod not USB um, it also stores CDs 
So I've already ripped two CDs and if you want to go through them you can hit your discs and it'll show you which ones are stored. And if you have the information uh, written to the disc it'll play the actual uh, artist information and all that. I don't think I did because I burned these discs myself. But it's still pretty cool. And so far this is one of my favorite mods on this vehicle. So just want to give you a little demonstration of that. And I'm kind of digging the uh, the red because it matches my steering wheel. And it, the volume's good on this side. I know some of the guys who get their Australian radios, the volume ends up being on the right side because they're right-hand drive. And this volume is still set for a U.S. car. And everything else here works. Track skip. Folder. I don't know what the folder does. But pretty cool. I'm, I'm really impressed with this. And uh, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Um, I had to modify the board a little bit to add the USB and to put the backup camera in because it didn't come with those. But I uh, found the instructions on where to tap those lines in. And I could share those with you. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, shoot me a message. Uh, I'll be more than happy to answer them for you.